You're watching WTV News, live on Wartburg Television. From the Grand Price Studio, breaking news, local coverage, and sports. This is WTV News. This is your WTV News update. I'm Jesse Kielman. Wartburg's Volunteer Action Corps held their biannual blood drive last Thursday. Students and faculty could sign up outside the Menza all week to give blood. VAC had a goal of 55 units to be donated this time around. Volunteer Action Center student coordinator Kelly Miller says volunteering to give blood is a great way to give back to those in need. Uh, there's just a few like regulations as far as weight and height and um, country that you're from or where you've been, but almost everyone can give blood. If you turn, tune in to Wartburg's radio station, you may hear something new. Wartburg's radio station, Your Sound 89.9 KWAR, is changing their playlist from Top 40 to Hot American Contemporary. KWAR is adding in more news shows, including entertainment and local news. Student manager Matt Groomer says the genre changes will appeal to the station's biggest audience, the Waverly community. One thing I like to add, I know in, in the past we've basically just been uh, more towards gearing towards the Wartburg community, I would say, and we're really hoping to change to be Waverly's station, Waverly's radio station, that's what we're going to be hitting on, so instead of just your sound, it's, it's Waverly's radio station, your sound. A new Pathways program hopes to boost retention rates among one of Wartburg's most diverse demographics. The newly founded CAP Plus program is centered around 30 first-year students who identify themselves as non-Caucasian. Those involved with the grant-funded program have opportunities to attend social, academic, and volunteer events arranged by the program coordinator and Funky. Funky says the program hopes to retain American ethnic students, which has been a concern in recent years. Um, I think just a general interest is part of what sparked the um, program and also national data um, just showed that retention rates across the country um, with American ethnic students were um, different than those of non-American ethnic students and so what we're trying to do is just um, kind of close that gap up. Wartburg's enrollment numbers for the 2013-2014 school year were released last week and they're down. Although the numbers are lower than the past two years, it is a record-setting year for both retention and international students. WTV's Jacqueline Schutte reports. The total enrollment of full-time students at Wartburg is 1,643. That's about 30 lower than last year's enrollment and 90 lower than the year before. Even with the lower numbers, Wartburg is still the second largest private college in the state. It's my job to be concerned about the enrollment numbers, and uh, I'm not concerned in a way that I am afraid uh, that Wartburg will uh, be in any kind of trouble. In a student body of 17 or 1800, you know, um, 90 students isn't uh, the end of the world. She says Wartburg's low numbers aren't a unique problem. Many colleges, especially private ones, are seeing lower numbers because of declining high school enrollment and concerns about debt. It's not just the challenge of getting students to come to Wartburg, it's, it's a challenge of getting students to come to college in general. Wartburg is a tuition-driven institution, meaning enrollment can have an impact on the college's overall budget. While enrollment may be down, retention remains high at 88%. I'm particularly happy about retention because even you can, you can be very successful it, at recruiting with all kinds of tactics, um, but if it's not a good fit and if the students aren't prepared to succeed at college, they won't stay. Wartburg did hit a record for international recruiting. This year, 165 international students represent 60 countries. There isn't another school like us in the state or probably even in the region. Um, that has as much diversity as we do and strong academic profile and strong retention. After Waldstein, the college has received more applications for next year than last year at this time. She says the President's Budget Advisory Council will be meeting soon to discuss it. She also says the students' financial needs and not just the enrollment numbers play a big part in the college's budget. This has been your WTV News Web Update. I'm Jesse Kielman. Thank you for watching.